everyone, I'm Jaris and this is Lucy and today we are working on some drain improvements around the barn. Today I'm going to show you how I do a French drain. So it's January here in Virginia and we just had some cold weather. After some heavy rains and you can see all this standing water has created a skating rink. Not ideal for horses. When the barn was built two years ago uh, I had already done some drainage, catching water from the roof, and did a whole perimeter French drain around the barn, which runs through here, one section of it. So one thing we're going to do is utilize that by taking the water coming off the drainage from around the riding ring and reroute it across the driveway here into the existing French drain. So to get the job started, you're going to need a few tools. A regular old spade shovel is invaluable for any digging project. It's called a trench shovel. It's uh, got a smaller blade and a different angle. It helps for digging trenches. You've got all the metal rake, all the dirt and rocks, some heavy duty landscape fabric which we're gonna, I'll show you what we're gonna do with that later. Of course, your corrugate, corrugated four inch perforated pipe. So this is drainage pipe. Um, you can get it at most hardware stores. It's four inches in diameter and it has these ribs on it, which is corrugated part that gives it strength. And also has these little slits all through it that helps the water that's in the pipe slowly drain into the ground and if you have a lot of water it will just continue down the pipe so <clears throat> the majority of the digging i'm going to start with the tractor bucket uh, just to make life easier <laughs> ideally if you had some sort of backhoe or mini excavator that would make the job go a lot faster but i'm going to start with the tractor bucket and then finish with the shovels. This is the existing French drain. And basically, I just need to dig a trench from here to there, where we're gonna catch the water coming off from the ring. So before you start digging, you should always call 811, which is the dig safe number. Um, I've already had all this dug up once before. I know exactly where my utility lines and any hazardous things underground may be but you better safe than sorry, so call Dig Safe. So in just a few short minutes, I was able to get the trench started much easier with the piece of machinery posted by hand. But now I can finish it off with the shovels, get it right where I need it, right pitch and everything. Uh, as you can see, there's already a lot of water collecting here is what we're trying to get rid of. So it's not the most ideal conditions to be doing drainage, but my wife insisted that this gets taken care of, so time is of the essence. On this stage, I've laid down the landscape fabric, put a little stone in the bottom so it wouldn't blow away. Now I'm laying my corrugated drain pipe. I'm going to it into my Y fitting on this end. And I'm just putting in a couple little 
landscape staples along the way to hold it in place before I finish covering it with more stone. This is the original French drain that ran across here. So I had to cut into that and add this Y fitting to incorporate the new section of drain. And I'm holding the pipe down with these eight inch landscape staples. So after you've got the pipe in there, and you start covering it with the stones, the idea is to make like a little French drain burrito. And once I get enough stone in there, I'm going to take the fabric, wrap it up tight, secure it all the way down, and then finish covering it with more stuff. So, I found using a regular old staple gun helps close the seam. It's really, it's just to keep it closed until we can get it covered with more stone. So we're wrapping up for the day. We're out of light and out of material, but basically this is how it's going to look when it's done. You get plenty of gravel over the top. We need to add quite a bit more here. Hopefully the water problems will be no more. Thanks for watching.